Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to be out here bottom fishing. We're going to show you some tips and techniques to uh, finding new bottom grounds, recognizing what it is and how to fish this area. We've also got some really cool underwater go fish cam footage, so check it out. All right, guys, had some good uh, good mahi. Um, had a nice little rip we found. Uh, now we pull back in. We're kind of on our way in and stopped at the ledge. Gonna see what we can find at the bottom. As you can see, it's very nice out here, very flat. The water is super blue. And it is uh, it's as pretty as it's been. Uh, yeah. When I'm trolling, I try to pay attention to my depth recorder to see what kind of structure we come over. A lot of times we're hitting new spots, and when we're trolling for pelagics, you know, dolphin, wahoo, things like that, um, they like to be where the bait is, and the bait likes to be over some kind of bottom structure, you know, if you're not in super deep water. Today we were trolling, and I noticed, you know, some bait markings, so we marked it, and after we were done trolling, we actually came back in shore, and we are going to try to fish it, see what it was like. A lot of this area out here is live bottom. So uh, inshore, depending on where you're at, I know inshore in my area, there's a lot of ledges and sunken ships, artificial reefs, culverts, and that marks very easily. But sometimes when you're in blue water, like in the Florida Key, South Florida, you'll come over live bottoms and they don't have a big bottom structure, but a lot of times you'll see bait over it. Like we'll see like bait close to the bottom or like fish right over it, like snapper, stuff like that and we'll mark it. Sometimes you come back to that exact spot and you don't see anything. You're like, huh, I guess the fish were just on the move. You know, you think, okay, maybe there's nothing, there's no bottom fish here. Kind of work the area because it may be a live bottom and the fish don't stay in one exact spot. They're moving around a lot, but they do hang in that area. In this case, this is the bottom we saw. I got the uh, screen recorded from my bottom machine so you see exactly what I was seeing while we were out there. Now we drop down the go fish cam so we can see everything, you know, what's on the bottom exactly. As you can see, when the camera gets down, it's a live bottom. It's not just straight sand. I mean, there is some sand, but you'll see some stuff growing, little coral, fan coral, some rocks and stuff. Um, not like a big noticeable ledge, but it is a live bottom and it does hold fish. Um, you can see we kind of make this drift and fish come around. You can see these squirrel fish. Vermilion snapper, triggerfish, porgy, all kind of hanging around in this area. I think they move around and you know, you may have to move around as you drift it and kind of hit it different time. You, know, you come back the next day or next week, next month. They may be slightly off, but they'll probably be around. If we get vermilion, we might want to break up this wind. You don't just want to like mark it and then think, oh, there's nothing here. You know, when I come back, I, I must, must have just been fishing on the move and forget about it. Keep it and check it a few times throughout the year. Maybe the second time there are no fish, but the third time they came back to that live bottom to do whatever it is the fish do. I guess first drop was the number we found this morning when we were trolling by. We just marked it and now on the way back in we're going to see what's on it. It's not very high marking but we got 4G and Vermillion with me and my dad so it's a good sign. Got one? Yeah, nice head shaker. You got a bite? Yeah, there's It's on the way up. Now it's uh keep it and this trigger. Oh, oh nice. Nice keep it. Quite the mix. Uh-huh. We caught four fish in three different varieties there, huh? Yeah. Nice fat boy too. They still there. That remains cheaper. Boy. When you're on them, you're on them on that spot, aren't you? Yeah. I think they're actually still feeling a little bit. We 
to get back down or just back up to them real quick? Just bump it forward real quick. Yeah. Thank you too. Pretty crazy. One time we put the go fish cam down and I put a big chunk of bait on. Now when you're going for big fish, like I was going for a big grouper or a really big snapper, you know, you put a big piece of bait on, that's great. Keep in mind, little fish are gonna peck at that bait. And sometimes you're like, man, I'm getting bites, but why am I not hooking up? Well, it's fish smaller than, you know, you have a bait for, like, and that's okay, because you're fishing, you know, when you put a big bait on, you want a big fish, right? Uh, don't worry about the little bumps and pecks. Of course, there's gonna be grunts, little snapper, stuff like that, picking at your bait. You know, don't be jerking or trying to reel up, like, oh, I keep missing them. Well, you're missing them because they're just too small. You know, scale down your bait, scale down your hook, and you'll catch them if you want the little ones. If you want the big ones, just let them peck away, give it time, the big one will eventually find them. And I got, um, look at that, a queen and a, yeah. Some spines on that little sucker, ain't it? What'd you get a queen? Yeah. Is that what they are or yeah, silk? Fish, hmm. Look how big their eyes are. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Good fish. Today I had that big bait down and all of a sudden, I wasn't sure what it was at the time. It grabbed it, pulled real hard and broke it off. But if you take a look, a big shark came and took my big chunk of bait and uh, quickly cut me off because I just had mono, but it's kind of crazy to see that shark cruise on in. Maybe next time it'll be a grouper. You got him? Yeah. Oh, I have him. Well, feels like it for me, and because they swam up when yeah. I set the hook, and that's what they're known here for. Oh man, they come off right here at the boat. Right here at the stinking boat. We still on them? camera though so oh that's a good thing hope you guys enjoyed the video we had a great time on the water me and my dad learned a new spot found a new area and got to see the stuff on the go fish cam i think that's always useful and helps us to learn if you guys have any questions don't forget to like and subscribe comment below and we'll see you on the next video